morning guys, what's happening, what is going on? So today we are in central London in Soho and I've been using this card called Monzo for a bit and basically what they have done is they have reached out to me and we want to explore around London to see what we can do on a budget. I'm going to sell for myself £20 so we're going to find somewhere for a coffee, sit down, top up my card and go for a little bit of explore. I've got my cup of coffee, cost £3.20, which means we have £16.80 left to spend for the rest of the day. So, time to get some energy, and I'll catch you guys soon. I feel like it's about to rain. I have actually dropped off my umbrella in a coffee shop because I didn't want to carry it around. But yeah, we're going to try and explore to find something for lunch. So hope we can find something that's not super, super expensive. So we've currently landed in Cotton Garden. Soho wasn't, I wasn't really feeling it, but I know there's a really nice pizza place in Neil's yard in Cotton Garden, so let's go there. We've managed to grab our pizzas from Home Slice in Neil's Yard. It's pretty busy here. It's such a touristy spot with all the kind of like brick walls, the painted walls. We're just going to tuck in. Mm -hmm. Just finished pizza. Pretty good. Only four pounds. How'd you find it? Still a bit of a spontaneous journey to find things to do. I think we spent we've spent about seven or eight pounds already and there must be more to do and more to kind of like explore. As I said before, we just have food at Neil's Yard, kind of in Covent Garden slash Seven Dials area. We're going to head into Covent Garden Square. It's going to be super packed because it is kind of Christmas time, but we want to see what there is to explore there, what there is to see. I know there is a lot of tourist attractions, but we're kind of trying to find key shops and key places. So let's go. It is super packed here, there are so many people, but there are a lot of restaurants and little shops where you can buy things and see things. But if you're on a budget, it's always nice to just go have a walk around and just soak everything in. We're on the hunt for some cookies, I think. There should be a stall called Ben's Cookies, which sells probably one of the best cookies I've had in London so far. So as I said, this is probably one of the best cookies I've had. Um, oh my God, it's there is a queue here for it, so it must be good because things are pretty good when people queue for things. So I think we're like number seven in line. They look pretty awesome. Go my best cookie that costs. 3.20 each I think. Got a white chocolate one. I think it's gonna be nice. We've wrapped up in Covent Garden and we're walking towards Trafalgar Square. One of the best things you can do in London for free is go on a little bit of sightseeing. We've done everything by foot today. I think we've only got one tube. So everything is really easy to be accessible and easy to walk to. So I think the plan is we're going to go to Trafalgar Square, then to Leicester Square, to Piccadilly, to Oxford Circus, to Bond Street to show you some of the shops 
and go somewhere for maybe a cup of tea, standard British thing, a cup of tea and maybe a little pastry or biscuit and yeah, that'll be the day over for less than 20 pounds, so here we go. A bit of an unsuccessful day today, but we are going to go down Green Park towards Fort Mason and go inside. We have 11 points each left in our budget, and we want to end London on a really high note. So, going to go to this really fancy shop and see if we can do something with 11 pounds only. We're trying to go to Fort Mason's and apparently it's all reservations so we can even sit and grab something. Mission aborted, not good. Burberry. I think they have a little association with each other. We're sitting upstairs. We've managed to grab a drink and a little snack. We're both pretty tired. We've walked around, I think it's seven miles? We've walked around seven to eight miles today. There honestly is so much to see from Oxford Circus to Regent Street, all the shops, the coffee places, the food places. There is so much to see. I mean, if you ever do come to London, I hope you have fun, just walk around the streets, go for a little bit, explore. And the places I've shown you today are places that I've been to, new places I've discovered that are really good for food. Um, yeah, it's been interesting that I've only just used this card today, that I haven't even spent any cash or carried any cash with me. I feel like something that's really good about London is a lot of places do accept cards, so like getting this card, you can tell like what you spend on your phone. But yeah. I'm going to be exploring a bit more of London in terms of East London, West London, but focusing on particular areas. For example, East London would be Shoreditch, West London would be Notting Hill. And yeah, we can't wait to bring you along with me. It's going to be a start of a new series, and this is the first one. So if you've liked this video, or you want to see more, it would be great if you could subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment below and tell me what you think. And I'll catch you guys pretty soon.